Hello, friends. My name is Owen Pathfinder, and today I'm going to be your teacher. Mr. Pathfinder is my father. You can just call me your best friend. Today, we're going to visit all sorts of cultures from all around the world. Here in Canada, we have a lot of different people that come from a lot of different places. We have people from all over the world and they came here to Canada to make it their new home and they bring a part of their old culture to their new home to share with us. You may have family from somewhere else other than Canada and not even know it. Our goal today is to go to a bunch of different places like Japan, Hawaii and Switzerland and see how they're different from Canada. The world is a very big place and a very diverse place. Won't it be fun to see something new? Let's go to our first location. Welcome to Japan. Here it's very early in the morning, so we say Ohayo gozaimasu. That means good morning. Japan is a country made up of very small islands. 6,852 of them, to be exact. Lots of this space is taken up by very large mountains, so it's hard to build farms and buildings in lots of places here. The population of Japan is still very large. It's the 10th largest population in the whole world, even if there's less living space there compared to Canada. Japan is a world leader in robotics, and they've made many robots with human-like abilities. Like me. One of the favorite foods here is seafood. Fish, squid, shrimp, even eels. Since there's water everywhere around Japan, people here have learned to use seafood in their everyday diets. Hawaii, a very relaxing place. Here, to greet each other, we say aloha. Hawaii is made up of many small islands, but not nearly as many as Japan. It may be way far away in the ocean, but it's technically a part of the USA, so they use American money and follow the US government. There are lots of pretty beaches and mountains to explore with lots of wildlife. My favorite animal to see here is the green sea turtle. They're very relaxed, just like me. But they can swim. I sure can't. One of Hawaii's favorite foods is taro, a root vegetable that is used a lot like a potato. It can be turned into chips, it can be turned into mash, it can be used in stews, it can be roasted. There's so many choices. Pork is also very popular here, and of course fish too since there's so much water like Japan. Our last stop for the day is Switzerland. Hello! Unlike our other two locations, Switzerland is what we call landlocked. Landlocked means that there are no bodies of water anywhere around the country. The surrounding countries are Germany, Austria, Liechtenstein, Italy, and France. While there's still no water around Switzerland, there are over 15,000 lakes. So there's lots of water around. People love to come here for skiing and snowboarding. Their forests are called alpine forests, and they have lots of snow, as you can see. The food here is very rich. The most famous exports for food are cheese and chocolate. If only I could taste them. Nobody programmed my flavor sensors. It looks like my batteries are low. We should probably get back to the classroom. Hello again, everybody. I hope you enjoyed your field trip today. I had a lot of fun showing you all these different places in the world. I want you to fill out your worksheet and hand it in at the end of class to show me what you've learned today. Also, if you want to, tell me about your favorite culture. Are there any that you know about that we didn't talk about today? I'd love to know. Thanks again for being my students. I hope I can be your teacher again soon. See you next time.